that I want to talk about is the, uh, I guess the nostalgic syndrome. I call it the nostalgic, nostalgic side effect because like nostalgia sells, you know what I'm saying, as far as like, uh, you know, shows. Um, and another example that I want to give of, of that nostalgic feeling was, uh, what was it, the remake that they're doing with the Black uh, Mer uh, the Mermaid, The Little Mermaid, with uh, that starring um, Holly or Haley, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that either. They heard about it. Yeah. So like, you know, it's kind of like taking a classic show and then uh, kind of like, yeah, just remixing it. Are they doing that to make money though? Is that that's the first question that comes to mind? I so, so I have a lot of questions about that as well because mm -hmm. it's like, all right, well, they definitely try to make money off of it because yeah. well, like, because like, yeah, yeah, like, like I said, nostalgic sells. You know what I'm saying? But I think my thing about it is kind of like. I think what they call it the reskin. So it's just taking a character and reskinning them as black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I think Hollywood is pretty much, or is pretty much known for like kind of like doing this reskin or remaking of original show. There's, there's no much diversity or flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's just taking like an original character and just like, okay, well, we'll make it black, black lead. Mm -hmm. and I think that's just trying to expand or speak to the black community or audience mm -hmm. to kind of like gravitate to the. Also, the nostalgic feeling, but also having a black lead. Is that a bad thing in your opinion? To me, it depends on the movie. Like, okay. I don't mind nostalgia, but I think it's too much of it could be a bad thing, in my opinion. Like, you know, like I said, The Little Mermaid was one example. Another classic example was what they did with Cinderella with uh, uh, Brandy. You know, mm -hmm. they took Cinderella and they just basically reskinned her to be a black. Cinderella, you know what I'm saying? So, and I, you know, people, I guess, love the show or whatever, but uh, uh, it just kind of started off in that role of just like continuing to do that because, you know, they're just trying to make like money, like I said, the nostalgic sales. But what about the psychological impact of like the little girls that see that story as a kid? Like, how, how does that play out for them? All right, so that's another thing. Money yeah. aside, though, because yeah. like, Cause, like, we're, like, we're in a capitalist country, like, we, yeah. like, money is. And yeah. Underlying so that's what I'm saying. Like I'm really kind of iffy about it because, yeah. like, if you talk about kids to kids, then like obviously that's something new. And Brandon's like, oh yeah, like you know, we'll we'll, we'll watch it. And if you know, the parents or people like our age, like the millennials or the next gens or whatever, mm -hmm. or a little bit about that, uh, or before that, is that we're used to seeing those characters, and it's just like, but we're gonna have a different perspective because we're grown up people now, mm -hmm. and it's just like, oh, it's just like you know, it doesn't really hit the same, yeah. you know, like. It's just off topic with other shows like you know how they remake the Aladdin, the Lion King, all these other shows, uh, movies, and I'm just like okay, you know, I you know I saw them and I go, uh, <laughs> I watch them anyway. Yeah, you know, for <laughs> but like you have <laughs> for <laughs> entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, just looking at, I think it just had just a different perspective. It's just like it's not the same, you know what I'm saying? So I think we're just coming in with the mindset of like we're older. So we're gonna be more critical of those you know, like shows and movies so, compared to like it being more like it's not really for us. It's more for kids. You sound like you have some gems to drop, Shana. You, you can go before me. I do. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because uh, I feel two ways about it, right? Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of remakes. Yeah. No matter how much like I love the show as a kid. But when you're older, it's different. Um, I like the experience of watching the Fresh Prince. Mm. Me as my 25 year old self because yeah. I know that when I was like seven through however long like that yeah. was like the person that I watched and I looked forward to yeah. I would fall asleep to that ending like that outro song like yeah. it was just like that was part of to my life yeah. but yeah. if they was to make a remake <laughs> of the Fresh Prince yeah, yeah. I would be yeah. very like I would be offended yeah. I'd be like how would you ruin a classic like that like yeah. it's it's a show that I could watch like over and over and over again and mm -hmm. still be impressed by how well done it was from yeah. the actors to the production to the humor to like it being culturally relevant, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I I feel that way. But when it comes to like, you know, Disney mm -hmm. um, and fantastical stuff, animated stuff, yeah. let them be make it with a black lead. Yeah, like let the kids experience that because mm -hmm. I wish I did. Like yeah. I was playing with white art dolls mm -hmm. and I, I want the future generations to be playing with black army dolls and okay. brown mm -hmm. army dolls and mm -hmm. like and so I think that in that regard I'm okay with it. Okay. Um, but remakes in general, I'm just like, 
leave it alone. Like, just yeah. like, yeah. There, are, there are more stories to tell. I think that's the problem. I think, yes. that, yes. I yes. think that black yes. and brown and like, Speak like POC it. creatives in general have way more things. They have way more stories to tell. Yeah. And they want to recycle these same narratives yeah. because yeah. they worked in the past. Yeah. yeah. And they think it's going to work in the future. And yeah. these, and honestly, these new stories are like groundbreaking. And they're yeah. like, they're innovative and they, you know, push certain buttons.